with healthcare evolving toward an environment of population health and bundled payments, decisions regarding the adoption of new technologies are increasingly complex. The purpose of this analysis was to evaluate the economic value of a new surgical technique, the brain path approach, for use in patients with subcortical tumors and intracerebral hemorrhage. We have approached our evaluation from the perspective of what has been called the triple aim, which is defined as improving the patient experience, improving the health of the population, and reducing the per capita cost of healthcare. Brain path is a minimally disruptive access technology approved by the FDA to provide access and allow for visualization of the surgical field during brain and spinal surgery. Indications may include subcortical access to diseases such as primary and secondary brain tumors, vascular abnormalities and malformations, and intraventricular tumors and cysts. Using a dime-sized dural opening, the surgeon can reach and remove tumors and intracerebral hemorrhages with less impact on intervening healthy brain tissue. The new surgical technology resulted in surgical intervention in 14 intracerebral hemorrhage cases that otherwise would have been medically managed due to the hemorrhage location or size of the bleed. The reduction in the ICU length of stay was seen in this group. Based on the variable direct cost per day in the neurocritical care unit at this academic medical center, 14 patient cases incurred approximately $210,000 less in direct cost. Surgical resection was possible in two tumor patient cases that would have been biopsied rather than surgically resected, also due to location of the abnormalities. In total, a value of more than $329,000 is attributable to the analyzed approach over a 28-month period. In making decisions of whether to adopt new technologies, healthcare systems need to look at the entire episode of care. This includes understanding how a new technology impacts downstream patient expenses and reimbursement. Within this investigation, combined with published clinical results, a positive outcome is observed in all three objectives of the AAA. Ultimately, significant reductions in the ICU length of stay improve the patient experience of care, demonstrate an improvement in the health of these patient populations, and reduce the per capita cost of healthcare.